I mean, that's one of the dumbest constructs. You, like, you'd have to work for a week to sit down and come up with a dumber excuse there. But I will also tell you this, just to give you a sense of how much depth he has put into this, to, to his pro- Sam Cedar and Emma Vigland on their show, The Majority Report, broke down a clip of Joe Rogan throwing out conspiracy theories, one of his seemingly favorite things to do. And in this clip, Joe Rogan shows how little he knows about our political system and that he just relies on conspiracy theories rather than really investigating what's going on. So we're going to take a look at clips of Sam Cedar and Image and Emma Vigland, as well as Joe Rogan. I'll share my thoughts from time to time here as well. This is a good one. Let's check this out together. This is Joe Rogan speaking with uh, political commentator Sean Ryan. To be honest with you, I, did, I, 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 don't, I didn't know who it was when I watched it. I don't know who it is now. I didn't even know who that, uh, the controversy about that singer. Chapel Ron? Yeah. What do you mean? No, what? I had no idea. That, like, I kept seeing, like, re- references to... She's your favorite artist's favorite artist. Just keep going. Okay. And, um... So... This is... I, I, I'll tell you why this is good. Because... What I find fascinating about this is not that Joe Rogan is spectacularly wrong and completely misinformed. Because that happens all the time with him. And it's good that they have him being fact-checked in real time because I think probably Spotify is worried, particularly in the wake of this uh, Section 230 suit against TikTok, uh, because I think they feel like their protections may be c- uh, coming to an end, which, is, which I, I, I wholeheartedly endorse, incidentally, because they, they publish him. They pay him $230 million, and they can't pretend like, oh, it's a whatever uh, arm's length deal. You, 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 you pay $230 million for this guy. What I find fascinating about this is the depth of conviction that Joe Rogan has about something that he obviously knows nothing about and has obviously done no work. And not just the depth of conviction about these like sort of narrow facts, but that how it is both indicative of what he reads the depth of, of, of how he actually investigates something, but then how he begins to build out an entire worldview that is predicated on a couple of these facts and ideas that are completely wrong, right? Like this is, this is like fully equivalent to things have gotten so out of hand that there are cat litter, that people are going, that kids are coming in and identifying as cats. He claims he heard that from somebody he knows who works at the school. And maybe he did, but maybe you should not believe the lunatics that you've surrounded yourself with and, uh, and, and misinterpret a situation where like in one or two classrooms in the country, people put in cat litter because in the event of a lockdown, the kids can't go to the bathroom. But putting that aside, the way that these facts he takes and they, it just builds out an entire worldview, then the facts get completely, he's got them 180 degrees wrong, but it will not change his worldview one iota. It is like he builds a tent, the tent poles are made out of cray paper, there's a little bit of a rain that comes through, the cray paper falls apart, but the tent stays floating above. Good. Wild thing to say. It's such a wild thing to say, and it's such a wild thing to do, like a super villain in a Batman movie. Like some billionaire guy who likes to hire the most progressive district attorneys that's gonna let people out of jail and then and pause then it for one second. The Incidentally, person. he's you assume he's talking about Soros, who incidentally does not hire district attorneys. And the amount of funding that Soros puts into any district attorney race is so dwarfed. First off, George Soros has about one twentieth the amount of money that Elon Musk has. Right. Like the number of billionaires on the right are huge. And I want to break in here for just a second and great 
example here by Sam Cedar, Joe Rogan's buddy, Elon Musk, who owns one of the, what, I guess probably three or four biggest social media platforms. What kind of influence does Elon Musk have compared to, you know, George Soros has been their boogeyman for a long time. They think George Soros is funding everything, but look at the money that's on the right. But this guy, in his mind, George Soros is like, you know, uh, the, the guy from uh, uh, the Austin Powers movie. Dr. Evil. Who, Dr. <laughs> Evil, who's got the ability to control all these things. And there's no right wingers out there. And there's no, I mean, listen to how he's convinced himself about these two stories of two district attorneys who got, you know, whatever, some campaign money. From Soros. From, from, from a Soros-affiliated group. Organi- group. I mean, come on, though. He, uh, he's, he's Dr. Evil, or is he a puppet master trying to control everybody? He's He can be both at the same time because he's set that super villainous. But I just want you to understand where he's going off on this. Now, go ahead. District attorneys that's going to let people out of jail and then, and then fund the next person who's more to the left of that person and just keep pushing it, keep pushing it, yeah. keep pushing it. Also, <laughs> crime is down. Violence in the streets. You know, violent crime is down. He's done a uh, damn good job. How come there's no right wing guys like that to do it the other direction? I always wonder that. How come there's no right wing guys? Sheldon Adelson or Sheldon Adelson. I've heard it pronounced both ways and I'm not sure of the pronunciation, whichever it is, has given 400. This is as of 2021. So I don't know how much since then, since 20 up, up to 2021 had given four hundred and twenty four million dollars to Donald Trump and Republicans. He's no longer alive, but his w- wife continues to give money to Donald Trump. So there's there's nobody on the on the right like this that is funding campaigns for Republicans. What about the Koch brothers? I mean, there're not many of them left. I don't know how many Koch brothers are left now, but their their money continues to live on and is used to fund Republicans. And they have been giving money to the right since I think the 1970s, the Koch brothers have. Joe Rogan's never heard of them. That too. I always wonder that. <laughs> well, it's also like, if you look at the amount of donors that don't- Pause it, to don't, don't keep, it, keep them up there. I always wonder that, but I don't have any mechanism in which to do even 10 minutes of research to see if it's true, because I've never seen a computer. Timothy Mellon, this cycle, Republican. Don't don't jump the gun. Go. Okay, sorry. Well, it's also like if you look at the amount of donors that donate to the left versus donate to the right. Have you ever seen that chart? No. <laughs> Whoa, I've like seen nuts. that chart. The left gets so many more donations than the right does. Like it's a giant difference. Why do you think that is? I don't know, man. I think uh, a lot of rich people feel guilty and they they get into philanthropy and it also is a good way to cover their ass and make them look like better people. And uh, the people that really go after you if they don't think you're a good person are generally the left. So if you could like throw them a little cheddar, you're like, pause it, pause it. Don't, don't, don't take them down. This is a theory of someone who has spent a lot of time thinking about this, right? This is his whole explanation for how, what motivates people who come out with stuff about the left? What motivates this? I don't, he's, he's wrong about crime. And so like, like, think of all the things that could spin off. He could spend two hours philosophizing based upon this belief that he has about the funding on the left. Go. So if you could like throw them a little cheddar, you like, <clears throat> I wonder, side. I wonder if there are, buying their place outside of the rules like hey i donated your thing you know i don't gotta have to be a little bit of these fucking rules There's gotta be a little bit of that in there you know this what do you got shows the top donors to yeah. opensecrets.org seven of the or six of the top seven are republicans oh and so so joe rogan I, I was actually gonna say if they hadn't said it opensecrets.org all you have to do is just go to that website and look and Joe Rogan gets fact-checked by his producer on his own show to show that he is completely wrong. <laughs> I mean, Joe Rogan is a clown. Individual donors, individual Oh, companies. individual donors. What I, what I was talking about was like they showed a Pause chart. it for a second. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Now, now he... He is talking about now. You can put me up there because he because we get we're going into phase two now. Mm. Oh, 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 oh! Everything I was just saying about George Soros as an individual donor—that's not what I meant. That's not what I was talking about. 
That's not what I was talking about. That they were doing it because they don't want to be attacked personally, right? They they don't want to be attacked personally. That's not what I was referencing when I said personally they don't want to be attacked and how they can operate outside the rules. No, that, that wasn't what I was talking about. I was talking about a different chart that I saw, which, uh, and I think, folks, you know how this story works out. Go. Seven of the, or six of the top seven are Republicans. Oh, Individual donors. Individual oh, companies. individual donors. What I, what I was talking about was like they showed a chart that had like uh, Google, Facebook, um, all these mega corporations that were donating. So this is like individual donors. Yeah. Pause it for a second. Wow, some guys. Now, the chart that he saw was not about these corporations giving money. It was the, probably the workers at these corporations. Uh-huh. Okay. And he doesn't know that. Look, he, he, he doesn't need, he only takes from data what he needs to verify or validate what his right wing friends that he all hangs around with, whether it's at the mothership or wherever it is, what they tell him, which they also don't spend any time looking it up. So he saw this chart, Facebook. Google, bar graph, they give, look at that, 70% goes to uh, Democrats. Now, it's the people who work there. It's the workers. Go ahead. Individual donors. What I, what I was talking about was like they showed a chart that had like uh, Google, Facebook, um, all these mega corporations that were donating. So this is like individual donors. Yeah. Wow, some guys donated $105 million. Wow. That's guys Half probably my contract. worth billions. That's probably some sort of a write-off, too, isn't it? Oh, pause it. Incidentally, just because you have billions of dollars doesn't make the $105 million you give less influential. Influential. Right? I mean, it's like, oh, he's only giving, he's only giving uh, 2% of his, uh, of his, of his yeah. net worth. So that doesn't really count as to what I'm talking about. I mean, that's one of the dumbest constructs. You, like, you'd have to work for a week to sit down and come up with a dumber excuse there. But I will also tell you this, just to give you a sense of how much depth he has put into this, to, to his proclamations about how the left remember how we started this the left has so much more, more money, money out there and they're buying off the district attorneys raising the crime rates crime rates have dropped uh all of this he's thought like he has a entire world view around this political donations are in no way even remotely yes. tax deductible or phila- he, con- he conflates philanthropy with political donations that's not how it works buddy he doesn't he doesn't have the he doesn't have a single clue anything that is other than his opinion like i say tent poles made out of cray paper and as soon as they fall apart he just shifts over to keep that tent up go ahead uh so as emma viglin and sam cedar point out here joe rogan seems to do no research which is unbelievable i mean i'll readily admit that i'm just talking off the top of my head in this video although i I did cite uh, an article from Newsweek with numbers on the amount of money that Sheldon Adelson had given to Trump and the Republicans. So I guess maybe I did more research than Joe Rogan. But it's incredible. You know, this is a guy who could get just about anybody he wants on his show. Bring an expert on about how campaigns are financed and just be like, hey, I want this to be bipartisan. Where does the money come from that goes to Republican candidates? Where does the money come from that goes to Democratic candidates? But Joe Rogan probably doesn't want to do that because he has mostly a right wing audience. And that would, if he brought an actual unbiased expert in, that would destroy his thesis, whatever it is. I guess that just all the money is is going to the to the left or coming from the left and going to Democrats when we're going to have how many billions of dollars spent on this presidential election by both sides. Now, if you want to talk about how, if Joe Rogan wants, and maybe he's done this before, I don't know, because I don't watch Joe Rogan all the time, but if he wants to talk about how obscene it is that we have all of this money in politics and how all of our politicians are bought off and how this all, a lot of this stems from Citizens United, 
That'd be a great conversation to have. And if Joe Rogan has done that before, leave a comment for me about it and I'll try to find that episode and and talk about it. But to just throw out like, oh, I saw a chart somewhere about XYZ and not show the chart. He can't have Jamie, his producer, be, hey, get me that chart that I'm talking about. You know, I, it's always hilarious when his producer, Joe Rogan's producer, brings up something that's completely counter to what Joe Rogan is saying. But even in this case, he's like, oh, well, that's not what I was saying. So I like Joe Rogan or like Sam Cedar and Emma Viglin were saying here, Joe Rogan just shows how little he understands about this and how out of his depth he is with this particular topic. But what do you think? Do you agree with Joe Rogan here? Is he right? You know, is more money going to Democrats from shady, nefarious sources? Or is it like Joe, is it like Sam Cedar and Emma Viglin are saying that these are just individual workers at places like Facebook and Google who just for whatever reason like the Democratic candidates more? Maybe because they feel they represent their values more than what somebody who's super rich, the values that they may have in giving somebody like Sheldon Adelson giving money to Donald Trump. So make sure to leave me a comment. I love reading your comments. Make sure to give me a like and subscribe. I'm closing in on 25,000 subscribers. I want to get past that. And my success so far on this channel is all due to your views and likes and subscribe. So I thank you very much for that. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to do so. This is Chris on Culture. I will see you in the next video.